Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we did our video yesterday on this little air compressor We're sitting here on the table behind us and uh, ended up eating up uh, most of uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, time we went and chased down and got uh, some rubber for the diaphragm and took it apart. And But uh, there are several videos out there on YouTube, some really good guys, uh, same regulator, is this little old cheap Harbor Freight. We don't say Harbor Freight cheap very often because this is the one uh, that we got in 08 and it's been good. Uh, now, I think that was $79 back in 08. And this is a two horse, uh, I've kept it maintained and uh, oil changed twice a year and it's still going. So there's no sense discarding it. Even though I could have been doing upholstery work, working on CJ5, other projects, I need this in this trim shop to spray glue and uh, use my staple gun. Now, this little regulator right here, there is a push button down. And uh, I subscribed this morning to a gentleman had one exactly like this. It was a central pneumatic compressor. Uh, he didn't say where it came from, but we all know the uh, HF word for Harbor Freight. And lo and behold, this tiny, tiny spring has drove us, me and the wife both, nuts, trying to fit it back in here underneath. And lo and behold, this is the first regulator I've ever had to tear down in my life. I'm going to be honest. There is a tiny hole right here. That hole has nothing to do with the springs. So you guys, when you get this off, before you take these bolts loose, right here, these are tiny, uh, you know, like seven millimeter. Before you undo that, you need to pry this up and then trap this back here. You can back off the spring all you want, uh, the tension but this is a tough spring and then you put a let me show you what i did if i can find it no i think i already threw it in the track i cut a piece of abs uh, plastic an inch and a half long and then once i got this compressed and this lever here if you can see it well it's with the hole in it is up and horizontal and this is uh down flat then you take the bolts out. I didn't know that. Boy, this thing opened up like a whole can of worms. Now, the one video that I watched uh, late last night and this morning, he didn't do that, uh, but he didn't say anything. He had any problem getting this little spring. Same regulator. So to resolve this today, this push button is only for emergency. If you want to shut it off quick, you blew an airline hose, you have your bride or your shop mate run over and push it down. It needs to be up so the points are closed. That's its function. And then in emergency, you push it down and it opens the points, kills the motor. I'm bypass that. You can see I have put all the way up on the brushes. Not, not too far. If you go too far, then the little plastic arm rod here is rectangular will jump out of the base so then i drilled and tapped and put a piece of just common tie wire no this is not electrical this is grounded and put a piece of tie wire through and that holds the button up the bunk button will be no longer needed so i'm going to put this all back together uh we did some cleaning uh just normal condensation yeah, and I drain my tanks after every use. Some don't. And then twice, three times a year, I take the tanks and I flush them real good with a 90% uh, alcohol and make sure there's no rust and debris. You will get condensate out of them. Those tanks are rusting inside constantly. Oh, even as we're talking now. But uh, it's a good way. And then I'll also take sometime the ever uh vapor uh it's called e vapor rust and i will fill those tanks up slosh them around good leave them in there about six seven eight hours drop them down flush them out with uh, distilled water air dry them run the compressor with the bottom tank valve open 
and then they're pristine. You know, it's the, saving the tanks. So this little uh, $79 compressor was worth saving, and uh, we need to get back to work. I probably won't show you putting it all back together in a long video. I might make another part when it's up and going. Uh, the one gentleman had uh, a bicycle inner tube. Okay, it is way too thin. The diaphragm itself is thick. It is almost about uh, two and a half mils thick. Uh, it's pretty hefty duty because it'll go up to 100 pounds, 125 pounds if you want. Uh, but uh, this inner tube, what he did is he turned it inside out like this, cleaned it good, and then turned it back over and he doubled it, but almost every neighborhood or close by has a big truck uh, tire changing center like we do. And I got this inner tube just by asking. I didn't want the whole tube. The guy's trying to say, hey, you can have it all. But this is exactly the same three mil uh, rubber inner tube, which holds 145 pounds of air, but it's still now I've got plenty to make other diaphragms, you know, if I have to uh, do that. So go to your local uh, truck store, uh, ask them for it. Don't pay anything. They'll be glad to, you know, give you old inner tubes because they're going to have to pay recycling. So that being said, hope this helps. Uh, there's a lot of good videos out there on, uh, you know, regulators on compressors, DYI yourself. And uh, I even thought, of well, shoot, I'll go buy a regulator. Got on Amazon, got on uh, some locals around here. I'm not paying $75 up, 75 is a minimum I found, for a Chinese regulator, and that's where they're all coming from. But uh, this diaphragm yesterday, it worked, except that spring was out and that it wouldn't shut off. And so, you know, I mean, I could push the button down but uh, then we'll reset the pressure. 90 pounds is all I need in here. Run a little six, uh, what's a, I think, yeah, it's a six gallon tank, not a 10. And that's plenty. I could put a bigger tank, but uh, gluing is fine. I use real low pressure gluing and uh, stapling is around 50 pounds max on some heavy stapling. So hope this DYI helps you and just take your patience. Like I say, make sure you lift this arm up, pin this off in the back so the tension's off of this before you remove the screws and nuts. Uh, it's just going to save you all kinds of grief. And if you don't, you're going to toss it in the trash. I tell you, it'll drive you cut. That's the reason I'm wearing the cheaters because I fought this afternoon from about 10 o'clock till 1 o'clock Try to get that dang gum spring back in there. I give up. So, I man, I got a compressor. If I want to turn it off, I just simply unplug it. So, come back and see us. Uh, send us your comments, and we'll get back on the uh, C3 Corvette uh, interior. Got another couple of interior jobs. One for John Deere, big enclosed tractor. Gentleman needs his seat right away. Hay season's here, and he's uh, wanting probably tomorrow. If he can get it, if we can do it, we'll get it to him. Then he's got his Dodge truck uh, seats. You know, they're always tearing up on the driver's side. So won't bore you with all that, but we got plenty of upholstery. So any of you youngsters out there that want to learn upholstery, you come to Boyd, Texas, I might feed you good. May not pay you, but I'll teach you how to sew, how to pattern. Come back and see us. God bless America. Let's go, Mr. T. Let's get him in another four years. I'm not saying anything to get me thrown off YouTube. The uh, National Convention, Republican National Convention was very good. I've watched all of them. I watched the last one tonight and uh, hope I learned some more. Come back and see us.